Dementia has been part of Naomi and Leonard Howe's lives since Leonard was officially diagnosed in 2016. And to be more accurate, they started to notice changes about five years before. Leonard has Lewy body dementia, which Naomi says is quite different than Alzheimer's. So I'm aware because I'm his wife, you know, and I know him so well, the cognitive changes, memory, executive functioning, information retrieval, sometimes speaking, stuff like that. But I'm pretty close. With, with Louis body, you can kind of compensate for a long time for that. And you also, you can be up and down, like some days are a mess and other days are really, oh, you're okay. Like everything's I'm okay. Better. With Alzheimer's, you don't have that. You just have a steady, slow decline. With Lewy body, it can be like this. But the other major thing that you notice first with Lewy body is things like REM sleep disorder, the hallucinations at night, the acting out your dreams, the, um, yeah. So that's one of the, the biggest differences. Mm -hmm. Um, the visual spatial components, some autonomic nervous system stuff. So it's more subtle and more complicated. But it's than... all dementia. From seeing snakes at the bottom of the bed, losing train of thought, or even something as small as mixing up words, these experiences are very real to Leonard and now part of his existence. I haven't been, I haven't been, um, you know, spent a whole life dealing with issues. I haven't. So I don't have a lot to compare to. This is significant. This adentia, adentia. I can't even, I don't even know the name of what I've got. <laughs> Dementia. Yeah. I like it when you call it rodentia. It sounds like a plant. It sounds like a rodent. <laughs> it sounds like a rodent. But yeah, anyway. It's true. It does um, sound like a rodent. You've got it. There's a whole array and and just ways to go about it. I think right off the bottom, it'd be okay to talk to people or relate to them in some way. And uh, that would be good because frankly, nobody really gets it unless you've got it. I don't mean to be, to sound a certain way, but it, it is, it's almost private in a way. So you can try what you do, and sometimes you can be okay with it for a while. Um, and it changes <clears throat> it changes uh, the dynamic of your relationship, right? Be Although the dynamic may have changed in their relationship, the love remains, which is something both Naomi and Leonard say helps them move forward and want to share their story. One of the things that Leonard always says is, you know, if we can help one person understand that what this is like you know kind of update your your knowledge of what you think dementia is because it affects so many people we're in the baby boomer generation it's going to be more and more it's amazing how important being patient is because the uh, attributes that you have to make it all better so to speak are on their kind of just sliding uh, just slide it, just slide it. Yeah, I'm really glad that, that Leonard answered that because um, patience is not my greatest virtue. And it is something that I'm actually focusing on as, some, as, as um, you know, bowing to the teacher that this is. It is a progressive incurable disease. It's not fun. And we're having to figure, re-strategize all the time and kind of go, okay, let's take a breath. Where are we now? It's, um, it's extraordinary.